My name is Jeff Rawl and I play a character called Clive Gray, who is a retired um, banker, I suspect. I've written this backstory for myself, so make it, make it more interesting. Well, I suspect he was in banking. He's now retired a little bit early, um, has a very nice life, two uh, lovely daughters, um, but is kind of rather henpecked by his wife, as can happen in a marital relationship. So the blokes at the office tell me, my wife's listening. Uh, and uh, yes, so he is um, rather um, at the beck and call of his wife, and um, he's, uh, he likes model railways, and he likes his garden, and he likes things to be just so, and he uh, collects dossiers on people, he's got everything catalogued, every holiday he's been on, every bus ticket, every Kit Kat paper, the 8 pier in uh, 1968 has been catalogued. Um, because somehow that's the way he kind of contains his life and uh, ensures that um, uh, nothing, no moment is missed. Um, so uh, that's pretty much the sum of him. Uh, he's, a, he's a nice man, uh, but a congenital idiot. It needs to be hard enough to clean them properly, but not so hard as to damage them. Harder. Harder. Oh, softer, softer. Good grief, it's like being directed in a pornographic movie. No need for smart, Clive. In the second series, um, he, uh, <laughs> he uh, unfortunately falls foul of the law, um, which for Clive is something which he, I mean, I don't think he's ever, well, certainly never ever stolen anything in his life. Uh, but he comes under the um, uh, sharp beam of the law and um, it, he goes to pieces as a result of it um, because he believes uh, that he's going to be taken away and incarcerated for, for many years and that's a very funny episode um, but we have an awful lot going on that we've extended um, uh, a lot of the fun that we had in the first series and um, I shan't tell too much because give too much away but uh, look out for Clive going to prison that's, uh, that's my favourite episode <laughs>